So as I mentioned in the previous video, here is my domain name, ultimatumworkflow.com. I'm going to share with you the best techniques to use when work with Ultimatum. I'm going to share proven techniques I've used for the past many, many years, especially with building WordPress web solutions. How to think about the software, how to do it, how to do it right. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our cPanel. Now, if you have a hosting service provider that doesn't offer cPanel, they typically have some kind of backend administration. Most common websites, if you need web hosting, I can provide web hosting for you at an inexpensive cost. And a lot of my web hosting comes free with my training. So if you don't have that, please contact me and I'll help you set that up. So what we need to do first is go to our domain name forward slash cPanel and log in to set up a WordPress solution. So with the username and password to your web account, we're inside of cPanel, which of course is short for control panel. Here's where you can set up custom email accounts, but right now the focus is to install a fresh installation of WordPress. I'm using Fantastico version three, which is a great product. So I'm gonna click on that. And based on these choices, because software simply comes down to choice, we're going to do a WordPress installation. So in version three of Fantastico, you'll find that under blogs and under blogs, here's the different things we install. We're going to scroll down here to the bottom and we're going to pick WordPress. Now, here's a very important thing to pay attention to when you're installing WordPress. Where do you want to put it? You want to put it in a subfolder, which means it'll be your domain name forward slash blog. I prefer not to do that. So with WordPress, what this installation does, it's going to check and tell you that we're about to install 4.1.1. The last update date was March 18, 2015, just about a month ago. And it will tell you what you need to install. So we're going to click here to install a new version of 4.11. Now again, if you're on my hosting plan, what you're watching right now is identical to the hosting plan I have. And again, HostGator, Bluehost, GoDaddy, most common hosting plans offer the same set of features that I'm sharing with you right now. So now we're about to install WordPress. Now, what I was sharing with you earlier is pay close attention. If you put information in here, so let's say you want to install this into a subfolder, yoursite.com forward slash blog, you put the name of your directory in here. In this particular case, we're not going to do that. Now, here's what I suggest you do. Do not call your username admin. That's an invitation to hackers. So call it something that makes sense. Call it anything but, you know, something that doesn't make sense. Call it something odd or something you remember. It tells you right here what you can and can't do, exception hyphens, periods, underscores, etc., etc. So I'm going to put in my username and password and title of the site. Now on my installation, I also have this free uh, installation of uh, Rubin, Rublin uh, protection plugin. So I'm going to install that as well. So I'm not going to show you my new username and password, obviously, but I'm going to fill us in this information, hit the submit button, and I'll come right back. So after you put your username and password, go through the installation process. It's really that simple. It will basically give you your information, which I suggest you copy and paste your username and password, put it in a safe place for safekeeping. So now I'm inside the essentials backend, or I should say I'm inside of WordPress 4.1.1. Now, for those of you that are new to WordPress, anytime you see something like that, that means that there's a new version of that particular plugin or an end or that particular theme. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about the nuances of every single plugin, but I do want to share with you that plugins are basically mini apps that help WordPress do things that it didn't originally do out of the box. So they're basically, if you use a program like Photoshop, they're known as plugins or extensions as well. Uh, Photoshop uses extensions. Adobe Illustrator uses plugins and extensions. So it's that type of thing. Those are basically mini applications that help enhance your experience and do different things from utility to security. Some plugins are actually full-blown little applications that are actually just as hard as WordPress, strangely enough. We'll talk about that in later. Uh, video. So what I want to share with you, I've come right here to install plugins. This will tell you the plugins that I have installed. Now this plugin I'm not going to use. I'm not a big fan of it. This is an anti-spam, but you have to subscribe and pay and I don't feel like doing that. But I am going to, so I get rid of this little dialog box, this little red alert box. I am going to update that. So it's as simple as hitting update. I'm not going to activate the plugin. I'll explain that in just one second. Now the difference between, here's my installed plugins. So let's just take a second to look at this. 
So here's my installed plugins that I have right out of the chute, right off the shelf. The only additional plugin that I installed is this one right here, which is part of my Ventastico installation that's optional, of course. So notice that I have these two plugins installed, but they're not activated. In fact, it tells you right here, there's two inactive plugins and there's one active plugin. So I just want to share with you that basic little nuance of what WordPress is asking for right now, or at least telling you. So WordPress deals with plugins and themes. Themes are always found under appearance. So if I go to appearance based on these choices, because software simply comes down to choice, I'm going to select themes. And it will tell me the themes that are available to me right now. Right now I have different themes 2013, 14, and 15. 2015, of course, is my default theme. That's what you're looking at right now. So one of the things I want to share with you, if I come up here and visit site, this is going to show me what the site looks like right now, right out of the box which is not much, has a name of my site that I put into the title of a page. This is a subtitle, which I'll explain later on how to do that. And this is my first post, which is called Hello World. This is strictly out of the box solution for WordPress 4.1.1 as of April, 2015. In our next video, I'm gonna share with you some basic housekeeping techniques of setting up WordPress first before we go any further, including setting up different categories, et cetera, et cetera. So stay tuned.